Hello everyone. Uh, I discovered a very peculiar redstone behavior which is extremely useful and I've never seen it featured before so I thought I would share it with you. It's a very simple contraption. You can see it right behind me. Basically the first use I found for it is that it makes item transportation instantaneous. I precise this is vanilla Minecraft. Works in survival. And in, I'm in the Java version. So let me show you a quick test here. You can see uh, this is a proper line, and with the comparators here, you see that there is no items inside. So let me just place one here. Now, look at the end of the dropper line. I'll flick the lever, and boom! Instantly, it's over there. So with this setup, you can basically teleport your item instantaneously up to 15 blocks and you can still extend it as much as you want with repeaters, it will work all the same. It just costs one tick of delay for every 15 block of distance, which is still the fastest you can go, I think. In fact, you are moving at the speed of the redstone line. But there is a catch, because to make this work, I flicked this lever. Let me show you what happens if I press the exact same redstone line, but from the lever that is on the other side. As you can see, uh, it will only make the, the item inside move one dropper at a time. The reason behind this is that even though all the pieces of a redstone line appear to light up at the same time, they are actually calculated by the game one after the other, starting from the source of the power, which is why when starting on the first dropper, it triggers all the droppers one after the other in the correct order. If I trigger the other lever, the dropper will not be uh, activated in the right order, so it will not work. And when you combine both of these behaviors, you can make a super useful contraption. But just before that, just let me show it to you in a much bigger scale. Here you have another drop line, it is uh, 400 blocks long, and we have the equivalent here with a blue ice road. So let's put the items inside. Actually give the ice road a bit of a start. Now this one, and there, 400 blocks done. And if we look at the highest road, we can see that it's not even halfway through. And there it goes. So, as you can see, this way of moving items through a dropper line is really, really fast. So now let's look at this contraption here. You can see it's basically the same, but this time I made the drop line loop. It goes back on the top line here. And this is how the magic happens. When I flick the lever on the back, it goes towards me one at a time. And when I reach the end and flick once more, it goes back instantly to the beginning. The delay it takes to go back to the beginning is exactly the same as the delay between each jump. I also added this extra redstone line here, which works as a reset. What it does is that it powers the line from this side, and then powers it again, but from this side. So it teleports the item to the end of the line here, and then teleports it back to the beginning. Like this. With that, you have a very useful and compact redstone component. So, if we now take a look at what you can do with this kind of contraption, here is a very simple selector. You can link up to 15 different outputs to a single button. You can also make a counter. Here I linked up a 7 segment display 
to my system and if I flicker this lever each time my counter will go up by one. I can also reset it like I showed before. And another thing that is really nice about this contraption is that it works at hopper speed. It means that you can make a hopper speed item counter with it. Here I have a hopper speed auto dropper and each time it shoots an item it will increase the counter by one. So let's place 12 items inside and we can see our counter 9, 10, 11 and 12. You can basically count to as much as you want if you put several lines next to each other. Each time the item goes back to zero, it will trigger the line next to it. So for example, if I place like 32 items inside here, we will see that it reads zero and it goes up to 10. So here it should stop at 30 to there. So here is basically the same as before but linked up to 7 segment displays. If I go and place like 128 items inside we can see that our counter goes up to 128. So I hope, the, I hope you like this contraption. I think it's pretty unique. Let me know if you can find some interesting use for it. I'd be quite curious to see that. Uh, as I said in the beginning, I'm playing on Java. It works on 1.16 version and probably a few versions below that as well. Uh, I'm playing on Java, so I don't know for Bedrock and Pocket, as I don't own either version of the game. So, we can see our counter, finishing counting, 128. There we go. So, that's it for me. So, goodbye everyone, and have a good one.